All right. So this is a quick, just super band, kind of more quad and horizontal push pull heavy circuit. If you're short on time or traveling, I'm going to start with a really quick warm up. This is going to be about a five minute warm up global. And then we're going to go through a mini circuit. And then you can choose to do as many rounds of that mini circuit as you want. Let's just follow along, starting off, just going right into your roll downs. Walking it out, lower down, sit back into your child's pose, really opening up the shoulders, straighten your legs back out, walk all the way back in, back to the top, and repeat. We'll just do three total. Walk it out, working on breathing deeply the whole time. Lower, sit back, straighten, walk back in. Roll back to the top, one more. Roll down, walk it out. Lower down, sit back, straighten. All the way back in. From here, I want you to grab and basically pin. So you're going into that heavy knee and hip flexion. You're pinning it. Work on that single leg balance as you go into your ankle circles. The so six in a row going one way and then six going the other. Trying to stay as straight on that down leg as possible. Same thing other side. Six and six. Reverse it. Good. And then you'll drop down to your back. Dead bug position, head on the ground, going into your contralateral reaches. Big exhale as you reach out, pull back in, which we'll do five per side. I'm really working on keeping my low back flat to the ground, feeling my obliques, keep my rib gauge down. My ribs pop up, my low back pops up. Trying to breathe deeply the whole time. I'm working on exhalate, exhaling as I reach out, inhale as I come back in. Just one more each way. Good, and then flip to your side, underhook that top leg, work your upper back rotations, rotate both directions. Exhale as you open up, inhale as you come forward. Five here as well, it's three, four, one to go, five, same thing, other side, one, two, three, four, and five, little glute activation, driving your hips up, arms up, marching in place, five per leg, really pushing your foot firmly into the ground, all those toes staying spread. We do five per side, try not to let your hips drop, feeling that drive from your hip and butt. After five, you'll come up to your feet, Once you're up, we're going to go split stance. Really get into your back leg hip. Arms reach forward. Going one, two. Drive back up, making sure you're not breaking at the hip. One, two, up. And we're just going to do five. Everything's kind of abbreviated here. One more. Switch it up. Again, you can always... Decrease your range as needed based on your ability. That's five. And then we're gonna go into your step squats, feet together, lateral step into your squat. Same thing going the other way. Try to keep your feet pretty much parallel. Okay, if they turn out a little bit. I'm getting a bit more load in the stepping leg hip. One more each way for five per side. 
and then right into your single leg squat, lifting one foot off, driving your knee forward, and then I'm just reaching across, touching the outside of that knee, drive back up. If you want to reach overhead to make it more balanced, challenging, you can. Two, three, four, and five. Same thing, other side. One, two, three, four, and five. And then a little aerobic drive, a little ramp, feet together, going into your jack squat, opening up. Do 15 here, dropping as deep as you can maintain good position. Number 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So that should get your heart rate going. Grab your band underneath. So I'm doubling my band over, choking up on it as needed, going right into my split stance. Shoulders pinned slightly back. So you're centrating that joint. You're not like cranking way back. You're not letting it come forward. Now we're going into your split squat. One, two, drive up. We'll do eight reps. Two, two, up. Three, two, up. Four, two, up. Five, two, up. Six, two, up. Seven, two, up. Eight, two, up. Drop the band. Halfway down, pulsing. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Shaking that leg off. Reset on the other side. And you got that double band underneath your foot. Fairly long stance. Pack the shoulders. And here we go. One, two, up. Two, two, up. Three, two, up. Four, two, up. Five, two, up, six, two, up, seven, two, up, eight, two, up, drop the band and pulse, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Taking your band, set up as a key here, put it behind you, grab, and then open your hands out to the side, Flip them over, and now it's across your palms. Dropping down to your push-up position, your choice. You can do this on an elevated surface. You can do it from your knees. You can do it from your straight leg position. Working your banded push-ups with the knee drive. I'm in my strong push-up position, fully protracted, going down, up, knee drive, knee drive, repeat. Down, up, knee drive, knee drive. This can be done from your knees as well. Down, up, and then you just straighten to go into your knee drive. That's three. Down, up, knee drive, knee drive for four. Down, up, drive, drive five. Down, up, drive, drive six. Flipping over, L sit position. We're trying to get as Strong of a 90 degree position as possible. I'm locking both legs out, really focusing on my quad contraction. And I want you to slightly push out against that band. So your hips are active the entire time. Choke up on the band as needed and pulling in. Count one, two, reach out. Two, two, reach. Three, two, reach. Keep the ribs down. Four. Two, reach, five, two, reach, six, two, reach, seven, two, reach, one more, eight, two, reach. On your back, basically dead bug position, and then bring your head off the ground, reach for your feet, and then we're going into alternating leg reaches from this hollow body reach position. So one leg out, one leg in, switch. 
One, pause, breath in and out. Pause, breath in and out. Two per leg, pause. Pause, keep looking at your feet, chin towards your sternum. Three more per side. Reach, again, I'm trying to keep my shoulder blades as high off the ground as I can. Obviously, based on your ability, you can always bring the leg up higher to make it easier. One more per side. And relax. And that would be one time through your quick push pull squat or thigh heavy circuit. You're going to repeat that. You know, I at least go through it twice. You'll be able to get through that easily in, in 20 minutes time, but push it. If you have more time, keep going through round after round. Take about a minute recovery after each round before you go right back into it. Have fun with it.